It's it's over. Yeah. The third uh, execution is over. Celeste's death is over. Celeste killed my friends. So I can't pity her, but... I also can't deny that at one point I consider her a friend too. And for him to just come along and... Isn't it just awful? Someone could have cut free the regrets from the outside world and so more people had to die. You guys are still young! You need to play more, place more value in your lives! Jeez! And here I thought you guys were gonna pass the torch of hope on the next generation. What, what, what do I care about hope? I'll throw in the trash if you want to let me out of here. You're all em embodiments of hope, whether you like it or not. And my destiny is to knock you down one by one. It's sad, yes it is, but the reality is, just can't be avoided. D don't talk to, like you're not responsible. How long are you gonna make us keep going at this? What do you want from us? God, you're so sick of people asking me that. Give it a rest already. So, anyway. Kyoko, did I see you get some kind of key type object from Celeste? Hey. So, uh, what's the deal with that? Wah -wah? Huh? What's the matter? Okay, I'll answer your question if you answer mine. What did you do? What did you do to me? Ooh. What? Answer me, what did you do to my body? Oh, uh, oh man, oh jeez, oh man, oh jeez, what did you mean? What did I do? I have no idea. I don't know anything about it. Um, what was that just now? The master might did something to Coco's body? What does that mean? Okay, things are getting kind of awkward. I think it's about time I get out of here. Well... Meanwhile, you guys can go on and enjoy your school life. If you get lonely, give me a shout. Not that I'll do anything about it, of course. See ya! Monokuma disappears, leaving all depressed and despair. Although, it wasn't all despair. There was one small hope. Hey, Kyoko. Monokuma already mentioned it, but... What's with the key Celeste gave you? Most likely, this key is the one to the dressing rocker rooms. What? What does that mean? Celeste probably hid it in there. I suppose sometimes it's easier to miss what's right beneath our noses. Well then, we'd better go check. Good idea. We left the courtroom and rushed to the dressing room. We approached the dressing room. Kyoko looked back at us and said, I'm going to go alone from here. Everyone else hurt, head to the dining hall. I'll check with you later. Why exactly are you going alone? Do you even have to ask? As she spoke, her glance quickened at the surveillance cameras. It's not what I meant. Why you? There's still a risk of a spy, you know. Then I'll, then I'll go too. What? You? Please, let me go. Standing there, ar standing there arguing. Well, don't mind that. Uh, don't worry about it. Standing there arguing is just going to draw more attention to us. Huh. Do whatever you want. Thank you, Byakuya. Then it's up to you now. I'm gonna go to the dining hall, okay? Huh? So Makoto and Kyoko are gonna go together? Uh, I mean, that, that, that doesn't mean what I think it means. Good luck, Makoto. Girls like her totally pushovers. When you show a little backbone... I try to forget what Hina said. Everyone head to the dining hall, leaving me and Kyoko there alone. Yeah. So then. We need to get into that locker. Kyoko took the key Celeste had given her and locked the locker. And the locker swung open and we saw... Good morning. <laughs> it's been a while, hasn't it? It's safe, thank goodness. I've never heard Kyoko sound so relieved. It was like she was speaking from the bottom of her heart. I did just what Celeste asked. I didn't say a word. I stayed quiet the entire time. Oh, and I think I might be able to open the last set of files soon, maybe as early as tomorrow. I'm doing my best, so please, just wait a little while longer. So, can we now officially say this place is closed? As far as the incident is concerned, sure, but... Can we take a second? Since you have this opportunity, I want to ask you to be honest with me. Kyoko, please tell me, what are you trying to do on your own here in school? 
Is that why you wanted to come here with me? Regardless, that's not something you need to know about right now. I, I don't need to know. That just makes you more worried. Worried? Like, what happened during the investigation this time? You disappeared and we didn't see you again. Without warning, you explained. When you do that, Indeed. it's only natural you think I'm mastermind spy, right? And you too. No, I believe in you. Y you believe in me? Isn't it obvious? People believe in their friends, right? That's what I wanted to tell you. And I want you to believe in me too, because we're friends. I understand. It's true. Then maybe I could believe in you. Just a little bit more. Then... Fine, I'll tell you. I'll tell you why I've been disappearing and where I've been going. You see... What I heard from Kyoko then was... Well, frankly, it's kind of blew my mind. Right after I told Kyoko I believe in her, she told me a story, well, almost unbelievable. I decided I had to confirm what she told me with my own two eyes, and I waited till nighttime to come, and when it did, I went to action. Oh no, she is a spy. The boys' bathroom in the second floor doesn't have a surveillance camera and the monitor in it. And the storage closet there, way in the back. It said way in the back of the boys' bathroom storage closet, but could Kyoko really be right there, right about this? Sneaky, sneaky. It's just a normal storage closet as far as I could tell. The story Kyoko told me about, could it really be hidden here? Oh, you could see the outline of a door here. You see it? The outline of a door? She said it's way in the back of the storage closet. I mean, seriously, without thinking I placed my hand in the back of the storage closet. And suddenly, it was as if being yanked in. Look at that one. At the same time I heard the sound and fed through the wall, I had no idea what was going on. To bomb. I had fun through the back of the storage closet. Huh? It turned out the back of the wall was a revolving door and I'd make my way through the other side. Just like Kyoko had said. Correct. The boys' bathroom in the second floor, there is a storage closet. And way in the back of the closet, there is a secret room. So, the secret room. But... What in here? Let's uh anything else there? No, just those two. It's just a normal desk in a normal drawer. There's a bunch of files that look like a volume after volumes of yearbooks. They're all covered in desks. Looking at everything on the file at the end of the bookshelf caught my eye. Hosey Academy Registry. This is the only thing that's not covered in dust. Has someone been looking at it recently? I slipped into the file, and before I took a chance to look at it, the slip paper fell out and it turned out my attention. What's this? You must not leave? Well, that's kind of weird. I couldn't understand what it said, but I can't leave. But you must not leave? What, what's this? My head feels funny. A strange sensation. It's like deja vu. Those words. You must not leave. I've seen them somewhere before, but can't quite remember. What do I know? What don't I know? I... I... Oh, sh... A strange sound rang in through my head. I felt like I was shaking in my brain back and forth, and then darkness. I don't understand what's happening. I don't know what started it. It's all over. And with that, I opened my eyes. I don't know how long it's been. Ow! Apparently something hit me and I lost consciousness. And all I understood, a dull throbbing pain in my head proved that much at least. The empty bookshelf. Uh-huh, empty. Gone. It's all gone. The yearbooks, the student registry, and even the note that had fallen on the floor. It's all gone. What does it mean? My brain refused to do any more work. The instant pain in the head began and spread across the rest of my body. For now, I should go back to my room. Go get some rest. It's not. My body was heady from the pain and my mind heavy with the thought. I dragged myself back towards my room. Somehow made it back to the first floor of the school. And the farther I walked back, the more I felt things getting blurry. I can't see in front of me. 
I couldn't stop myself from collapsing right there. And after that, I... Uh hmm? It's a, a vast distance I heard a sound. Faint, but undeniable. That sound, it's coming from the gym. I, As I desperately hauled in shaky frame towards the gym, the sound got stronger and stronger. Oh, that's creepy. What's going on? Can't be nothing. Here in the gym. I No, that's creepy. Let me save. I don't trust this. Okay. Let's go. I didn't make a sound as I opened the door to the gym. The sound coming from inside. Meanwhile, only intense that much more. Before me was the raging battle beyond anything humanity possible. No, no one's side not human was for sure, but regardless, I couldn't stop staring. I forgot to move or even breathe. Why you? What do you think you're doing? I asked you a question. What's the meaning of this? How dare you defy me? Yada yada does it. This wasn't part of the deal. The the deal? I will no longer retreat, no longer compromise, no longer regret. Wait, Sakura was the spy all along? I didn't know that. I've made my decision. I'm going to resist you. Hmm. Okay. But you do realize what will happen if you go through with this, right? You haven't forgotten, have you? What? 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 Holding hostage? What am I looking at? What am I hearing? A hostage? Then could it be the mastermind spy is Chapter 3 The next Pro Legend stands all Galactic Hero the end Surviving Students 7 To be continued Receive Subo Robo Justice present. Would I like to save? Yes. Yes. Leon killed Saika. <coughs> oh man, my throat. Monokuma. Yeah, Monokuma killed Junko. Then Leon got executed. Mondo killed Chihiro. Then he got executed. Hifumi killed Taka and then Celeste killed Hifumi. And then she got executed. And that brings us up to now. Junko. It's Jinko and Ashima. Oh um, if you need images, I'll I got you. I got a I got a Junko um avatar. Don't worry about it. Hi, it's Junko Enishima, Kamakura Kamakura Queen. This is who Junko is, by the way, if you needed context. Alright, and the context is over. Don't worry, don't, don't ask why I have that though. Reasons. <laughs> How dare you? I mean, okay, I'm not going to go into spoilers, but yes and no. The next morning in dining hall, the day after Celeste's case. So now there's only five of us here. Only a third of the number of people we started with. Lonesome has become commonplace. That's true. Still. With what did I see yesterday? I don't understand. 
Sakura is the mastermind spy? Can it can it really be true? Makoto, are you okay? N uh, no, I'm fine. I can't bring it up in front of the others. If I did that, it would just confuse everyone that much more. Okay. Okay. In that case, let's eat till we pass out. What? What you mean, in that case? Well, cuz... Look how scary everyone looks. It's gotta be cuz you're all fighting on empty stomachs, right? If you feel your belly, I'm sure we all cheer up, so let's eat. Uh, let's fry some fish and donuts and eat them till we can't stand up. That, that's a deep impact style meteor impact extinction level of event combination of foods. What? Those are both breakfast time top sellers. Still... Uh, the till we can't stand up part is a problem. After we've done, we need to go explore. That's right. Since the class trial is over, new areas have opened up. Plus, <coughs> my throat. Plus, we still have an alter ego. We don't have to give in to despair just yet. She's right. We we have a plan ahead and think about the future. Yeah, yeah. Think about happy thoughts, not deathy thoughts. Like, when we're about to get out of here, right? When this is all over, I think I'm gonna go get reborn for a serious, uh, I mean, reborn as someone serious. Hey, are you okay? That sounds like something someone who's about to die would say. I'm totally okay. I'm not gonna die. Why? Because there's ain't gonna be any more murders. Um, what makes you say so sure? I predicted it last night, since it revealed itself to me from the other. There's no doubt about it. How accurate is your fortune telling anyways? I can usually hit 20 or 30% on a good day. That seems really low. Yeah, well, it's not like ESP or whatever, of course. I'm not gonna get it right sometimes. I told you, my fortune telling isn't like some occult thing. Fortune telling isn't a cult? Of course not. Clivarence is Clivarence. Don't put me in the same category as that cattle humiliation. C cattle what? He's referring to the urban legends where aliens abduct cows and dissect the parts of their research. No, I'm, I'm I'm calling it an urban legend. As a matter of fact, it's true. As a matter of fact, it happened to me. It all happened one day when I went to go get a hamburger. It was a place I'd never been before. They claimed their patties were 100 all beef. So I got a burger and go head home. And before long, the sky was filled with mysterious blinding light. Some crazy beam came out of nowhere and locked onto my hamburger. Lol. As soon as the beam touched it. The burger started floating in midair. And the burger started floating in midair. <laughs> and then, still floating there, the entire burger started coming apart. One part of it just vanished, while the rest fell back into my hand. Whoop. <laughs> he took too many mushrooms. You realize what that means? It means. The burger wasn't 100% beef! It must have had some pork or something mixed in! Something like 70% pork and 30% beef would be my guess. Bruh! You can't trick me! So I stormed back into the burger place and got up in the manager's grill, and he totally admitted it! It wasn't 100% beef, they totally mixed in ground pork with it. How'd you see that? That is cattle mutilation. I, I kind of got lost halfway though. I can't tell if you're the cult or against it, you stinky of stupidity. I think of. How dare you? Well, what do you stink though? That's fine. A that's fine. Um. Anyways, I hope your prediction turns out to be true. Well, at the very least, I won't murder anyone. Me neither. I mean, I would never. Me neither. Nor I. That goes for me too, of course. I would never kill any of my friends. I f because he was explaining um, that he, d he doesn't believe in the, the cult. I mean, he does believe in the cult. He says the cult is real. He's just saying he's not part of it. Which is weird. 
I felt like those words of encouragement were helping us get along. After so much sacrifice and hardship, we finally became united, but... To be honest, I wish Byaki and Tokyo were here for this too. But they're so hard to deal with, they only think of themselves. Yeah, we're better off without it, I say. That was enough to prove that we're united for the time being, but within that, our bond hides weaknesses and fragility. Chapter 4. Oh, is that... Oh, oh, okay. We began our search as soon as we finished our breakfast in the dining hall. We had to find what had opened up, what was waiting for us. No. Toko only murders if she she does the uh tickle, tickle, tickle. <clears throat> So So we have access to the fourth floor of Hope's Academy. You know what that sounds like? Stopping. Alright. And I'll see you guys next time, I guess. Bye-bye. Oh, yeah, while I'm here, I'm going to show you the... The photos. What am I missing here? How did I miss something? That's the question. How do I miss things? Alright, where is... Oh, I have to unlock them? With Monokuma coins? I... Excuse me, what? Alright. Then I will now leave the premises. Would you like to save changes? No. See you later. Alright. Bye bye.